Welcome back to another Mixology Monday. Metal Mixologist from Drunken Smithy. Um, Halloween was yesterday. Everyone went trick-or-treating. The kids are getting all sugared up with lots of candy. So I thought today we'd make some chocolate for adults. So we are going to make a chocolate martini. And when I say we're making a chocolate martini, if you don't know my background, we have Mixology Mondays because I live in Hershey and I was a bartender in Hershey. So I've made thousands of chocolate martinis in my day. So this will not be one of the official chocolate martinis, which um, Hershey actually does put the recipes to online. So if you ever wanted an authentic signature chocolate martini from Hershey, you can make one at home. So I'm going to start with a chilled martini glass that I've rimmed in cocoa. And then we always drizzle some chocolate syrup in there in Hershey. This is homemade chocolate syrup, but obviously Hershey syrup is fine. And then the key to Hershey's chocolate martinis is using um, a vodka with really intense chocolate flavor. So this is 360 double, double chocolate vodka. This is what we use in Hershey, and it is what I recommend. Their sick, signature chocolate martini, the clear one, uses this, a manila vodka, and Jacqueline's creme de coco, the clear kind. Um, if you just chilled the vodka, you'd get pretty damn close to the original without the other ingredients. It just would be a little boozier, a little more burn. So I'm going to use two ounces of this vodka. And then the other ingredient I'm going to use is one that they use in many of the chocolate martinis in Hershey, but you certainly don't have to go out and buy it. So you can use Jacqueline's Creme de Coco. It comes in light and dark, and they, for the most part, taste the same. This is Marie Brizard's chocolate liqueur, and it's more like an alcoholic chocolate syrup. And I'm going to use an ounce and a half of this. And then what I am making is a rendition of a special dark martini. And the original special dark martini is um, a liquor that isn't made anymore, Thatcher's dark chocolate. And it had a really earthy flavor. So to mimic that, when I make a replacement, I use Frangelico, which is actually a hazelnut liqueur, but many use it as a substitute for chocolate in their recipes. I'm gonna use a whole ounce of that. And then I'm going to get it very, very cold. I'm gonna enjoy it this way. results in a dark brown chocolate martini, which people expect. It's not a creamy chocolate martini. They come in all different types. Some are creamy, some are clear, and occasionally some are brown. The special dark was my favorite and it's the one that tastes most like chocolate. Which makes it perfect for Halloween. Now for those of you that don't drink alcohol, I'm going to make you a homemade rendition of a Mexican hot chocolate. So it's a little sweet, a little spicy, and it also has the benefit of being something that I used to make on an anti-inflammatory diet because I have an autoimmune disorder. And sometimes you still want something sweet that isn't going to anger your body as much as eating hot chocolate or lots of sugar. So I use a spoonful of cocoa powder. This is actually raw organic cocoa powder, but you can use whatever. I like to add a little cinnamon and a touch of cayenne. If you don't like spicy things, don't do that. But the little bit of heat from say an eighth of a teaspoon or even just a pinch is a really welcome addition. And then to sweeten that, I like to use sweeteners that are more readily used by the body. This is honey. And I use a whole big dollop, but you use whatever sweetness you like. I'm gonna grab some hot water. I like to do just a little hot water first to dissolve it. And when everything seems dissolved, I top it off. This is a little sweet, a little spicy. 
perfect to sit by a fire on a chilly day. Now today, I'm feeling like a hot drink. So what I'm going to do, to each their own, I'm gonna take my martini and I'm gonna throw it into a cup. And then I'm gonna take my hot chocolate and I'm gonna throw that into a cup. And now my super hot drink is cool enough to drink. And it's got a little alcohol kick in there. This cup was made for me by my father at John's Pottery Shop. It's got a Chino glaze, which is my favorite. So, on this chilly Monday morning, I hope you find time to enjoy something sweet. See you at the forge. Happy Monday. Hmm.